Today, we're looking at electrical cords and outlets and how I can make a prototype to improve them. On November 8, 1904, Harvey Habel II patented the first detachable electric plug in the United States. Habel was also known for patenting the first pull chain electrical light socket in 1896. So not only do the wall outlets become loose over time, so do retractable outlets. Ones that you pull down from a cord in your shop or in your garage. These also will eventually become loose on you. I've been working on some prototypes and I'd like to show you those today of kind of where I started and where I ended up with the final prototype. My first prototype I worked on was a piece of oak with a bunch of slits in it. It slips in here like this. Then your cord comes in and it now grabs on the sides. The cord won't come back out and I'm pulling with lots of force. This works pretty well. On to prototype number two. I found lots of cord ends in my shop and on this hot glue gun, the cord is obviously different. I wanted to try a new design, one that's thinner and not so thick, so I used a piece of Lexan. The test did really well, but still it's not going to work on an electrical outlet. Prototype number three is the game changer. This idea will allow me to use it in the electrical box as well as that retractable cord. The idea is simple. I used an old clip off of a backpack and attached it onto the cord. To release it, pinch and pull the cord at the same time. Secretly, I'd been showing family members and sending them samples and I'd begin the process of figuring out how to get a patent as well as locating a company that can help sell this product. But honestly, the most important thing I could think of was, well, you know, how in the hell does one make it rain? After I came back to reality, I realized that Prototype 3 with a backpack clip is probably not what I want. Instead, I'd rather have a simple one finger release. And that's where I come out with Prototype 4. This is the final prototype on this build and I'm using a Cat5 end. It makes for an excellent connection and it also offers a one finger release. This was going to be the last prototype I was going to make of this build. I was then going to design and create my own button with a one finger release for the future product. At this point, I had started doing lots of research on patents and trying to make sure that this device didn't already exist. After lots of searching, I did find a couple products out there. They were designed for child safety and keeping cords from falling out of outlets so kids wouldn't get shocked. Nothing exactly like what I was making, but in the end, I'm only betting the house if it can make it rain. I hope you guys enjoyed the show and tune in for the next one. Thanks for watching. Actually, yeah, I, uh, I need to get this back in the bank before uh, the wife notices. I'm pretty sure the mortgage comes out today.